Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. The last video we have seen how to do incremental static regeneration in Next.js 13. Now in this video we are going to learn what is generate static params function use in Next.js 13 and uh, what is dynamic route, how get a static path is equal to equal to generate a static param so first of all i explain you uh, dynamic routes in my previous video i have explained clearly that when we create a route those are static in nature but there is a way to create a dynamic route dynamic route means any name we give in place of that and that name will become as a route so if there are number of students are there and those students i want to create a name of the student as a route so i can make dynamic routing so dynamic routing i have explained in practical way also so here i am going to explain with the help of dynamic routes also now uh, get a static path remember that get a static path is a function that use in uh, next js 12 and before version for uh, dynamic for generating a dynamic path with the help of dynamic route so how to generate dynamic path i will explain in this video and but with the help of generate static param generate static param is a function that is replacing get static paths in next.js 13 but still get static path is also usable you can use that also i will give the demo of get static path function also in my next video but in this video i am explaining the generate static param function because it is replacing get static path means the next.js documentation are recommending that you should use generate static param in place of get static path but get static path is still usable but maybe in future it can be deprecated now how to do the code of with the help of dynamic routes so that we are going to learn so here we go to the code here so in the coding i create first of all dynamic route remember that so static route means so if i click here you see the name is you see if i click there name is ssg but in place of that if i say ssg again like this ssg ddd so it will say 404 error that means this this particular uh, route is not available that's why it's saying 404 but in my case when i will create dynamic routes then automatically the value which i will give here that will consider as a route that is called dynamic routes in detail you can go to my previous video i have explained there so here I am going to create that also with the help of generate static param function. So first of all I create one uh, route I say cots remember now under this cots uh, I say one more uh, one more route I will I will create here under this folder that is under this square bracket I say id remember so this is the my dynamic routes id under this I will create a page dot js this is my page and i say rafce here i do the coding remember that so this id is my dynamic route in place of id i will have the number of routes so uh, how to generate these dynamic routes in a static in nature that we are going to understand in this video for that we have to make a coding so i say export const i say generate static params remember this function we have to use and i have to use as arrow function and here i say async here why because i am using the fetch api again here and here i say const and here i say data fetch then i say uh, i make the same coding here so i cut this remember and same coding i use here paste it json cards we have and now i have to uh, use uh, uh, like uh, data also because i am going to generate uh, the uh, route here so i need to create uh, here course first of all like this uh, then i need uh, this course course dot map function here and this value i will return in one variable and i say that is uh, params parameter and here i need uh, cot remember and this is arrow function and i return this value uh, to this like this this value i return here to the param remember that and in the param what i return i do id and here 
in id i say caught dot id like this so from this all the possible routes means number of id av available those are almost 28 so those id i am generating here and it returning to this and i say return params remember this property i am returning to this so with the help of generate static param i am just fetching information i am fetching a number of url number of cards are available in this api so all the cards having a id so with the help of this id i am going to generate a dynamic routes so now this information will goes to here and here we will have a params remember params we will have and with the help of this param we can find out the id so i say here params like this so we have the id from here now i can display the data here the id here so i say h2 i say uh, dynamic path is dynamic path id is and here i can display that id remember so save this so this is the way to generate with the help of this id i can fetch the cords also but i am not fetching a cords right now because my purpose is to explain the use of generate static params function that is replacing get static path in nextjs 13 so we are just using this and we are generating number of dynamic routes as a id this id is coming here then with the help of this we can generate so i try to execute it so how we can do this suppose here i say cots remember cots not cot and if i pass one so it, it will display the you see dynamic path id is one remember so you see that after putting a one here we getting id number one if i put here two then i get id number two if i get three then we have id number three that means with the help of this with the help of this generate a static param we are able to create a dynamic path or dynamic routes here with the help of this we are getting id and every time we are generating this you see that is all about the use of generate static param in xjs 13 in next video i will explain you use of get static path also and how we can use this to do the same thing which i am doing here in next video so in this video i have explained you that what is dynamic route and the difference between these two are same and how to do this i have explained in this video next video i will explain you the use of get static path also in xjs 13 how to use it see you in next video if you like this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this Thank you.